time to see you. I need a favor very much. Miss Collins. It's Ben. Barnabas. Barnabas? Or perhaps he did. And no one bothered to tell me about it. Uh, Miss Collins, I I'm going to take you back to Collinwood. Uh, no. Not yet. I have not done what I came to do. What's that? Choose my final resting place. Will you show me the mausoleum? You must. Aye. Not what I would have chosen. But then I can't think what would be ideal. Besides Sarah. Yes. Yes, I shall be here. She left so little. But I only a little more. So it is fitting that we should lie side by side throughout eternity. You will remember that this is the one I've chosen, will you not? And you will see that today's date is put on. Because today is the day I died. Miss Collins. And this is the day I want to be remembered. No matter how long I may live, I died this day. And may Nathan Forbes know that I consider this the date of my death. Do you understand? No. No. Oh, it does not matter. Barnabas will. He understands what it is like and to have to stop loving. You couldn't have seen Mr. Barnabas. He's in England. Nonsense. He heard of Josette's death. Miss Collins. Miss Josette only died a few hours ago. Why are you trying to convince me that I did not see him? Because you couldn't have. Who did I see? Ghost, perhaps. Barnabas is not dead. Or a spirit. The spirit you should stay away from. That was Barnabas. I need him. I'll do anything you want. Anything he'd do. Why? You are not a member of the family. You presume too much. But then I have heard that about you. <laughs> when I tell Cousin Joshua... You mustn't tell him. About you. About anything. About coming here. About what it was you think you saw. Why will you not simply believe that I saw him? His mother would believe me, I have no doubt of that. You don't want to cause more grief, do you? Why should his return cause grief? Everyone would be delighted to see him. They won't see him again, ever. Oh, I see. Perhaps. You do not want me to know that he is back. But why? I had always thought you loyal. Though that is a word I have vowed never to use again. I should have known you were not. You are a man. Miss Collins. I'll take you home. Don't say anything tonight. I'll find you tomorrow and I'll, I'll let you know if he's here or not. Why will you tell me what I already know? Has my reputation for gullibility gotten even to you? Oh, the shame of it. I don't know what you're talking about. I just know that Mr. Barnabas, if it was him, he wouldn't have run away from you. Unless he thought I was a ghost. Which is quite possible. Miss Collins. You look feverish to me. It was kind of you to show me the mausoleum. But it is quite damp here and it may affect your health. I would suggest that you follow me home. At a respectable distance, of course. Good night, Ben. Miss Collins, 
Wait. Wait. Has she come in? Oh, it's possible. I've been busy working. I've written a letter to Josette's father in New York. Oh, I must add a note. Please let me. Oh, I'm sorry, my dear. It's already sealed. This is the deposition for Miss Winter's trial. Deposition? It is simply our view of the facts. That Trask fellow thought that it was important that it be in the judge's hands before the trial starts tomorrow. Tomorrow? Now, my dear, I haven't told you so as not to upset you any more than you already are. As I see it, our lives will not be affected by this trial. Well, they certainly will. Abigail has very kindly offered to represent us at the trial. Well, I certainly intend to represent us too. No, that is not wise. That is not wise at all. You know how emotional you get. Well, I shall try not to be in the witness box. There is no question of your being in any witness box. There is no question in my mind I will be. It is my wish. You mean your order? Whatever word you choose, it will not change my decision. Abigail will be the only Collins at that trial. She will not. Naomi, my decision is a measured one. If our family is to come out of this without any loss of dignity, we had best leave the entire matter to the court. We are the injured party, after all. And if any of us get hysterical, it will be used against us in the future. And if Miss Winters dies, won't we hold that against ourselves in the future? Oh, Joshua. Let's not torment ourselves any longer. I will testify. You are my wife. You will obey me. Where is he? I must see him at once. He must have told you he saw me at the graveyard. Who saw you? Oh, you were so silly. Barnabas, of course. Barnabas? What are you talking about? He must have come home. He wouldn't stay in the cemetery. You saw Barnabas? Why, he's in England. You don't want to help me either. But why? I should think you would want to see my honor defended. It is a family affair, after all, and Barnabas is the only person who can do it. My brother is too young. Barnabas has had duels before. Are you afraid, Graham? Is that why you won't let me see him? Charlie, Barnabas isn't here. But I saw him, I tell you. Why would I lie? I saw him at Jeremiah's grave. Jeremiah? Joshua. My cousin, you have a very vivid imagination. Sir, I have none. Why won't you admit that he is here? Naomi, take her upstairs. She is ill. <laughs> oh, cousin Joshua, I have been ill all my life. But I've never been alone. Until now. Alone? But you're not. Yes. You are keeping Barnabas from me. And he's the only person who can defend me. Or don't you care about my honor? Of course we do. Exactly what do you mean? Barnabas must kill Nathan. Oh, I, I suppose it has to be in the course of a technicality, like a duel. But he must kill him. Millicent. Nathan is married. Suki was Nathan's wife. No. Poor child. Please. No pity. I have quite enough for myself. But Barnabas must do what my brother would do if he were older. Why, Barnabas Millicent? And he ran from me when he saw me. Even Ben denied that he was there. Ben? You saw Ben too? Of course. At the mausoleum. Ben knows that Barnabas is back. But he lied to me. You must punish him for lying, Cousin Joshua. When it is this important, someone must be punished. Yes. Yes, you are right. And if you have not seen Barnabas, and I have, then someone must find out why. Yes. I must find out why.
Victoria Winters is a witch. She must hang. Satan will try to rescue her. He will not succeed. The witch has done too much. There is panic in the town. Nightly a new attack, a new murder. The witch is not satisfied with what she has done to the Collins family. The devil is never satisfied. The authorities agree. Miss Winters must be brought to trial without warning, without having a chance to contact her master, Satan. At this moment, she sits in her cell, unaware that before the day is done, her trial will begin. She is closer to the gallows than she or her master know. going to court today. Today? Yes. Good. Good? Well, isn't it? I don't know. Peter, I'm innocent. The judges have got to believe me. And besides, I want to get it over with. You can understand that. I'm glad my trial is today. Vicky, there isn't much time. There's several things you have to know. Josette Collins died last night. She jumped from the cliff on Widow's Hill. I couldn't stop her. No. Poor Josette. I tried to help her. I, I told the Countess everything I knew. The fact that you prophesied her death isn't going to help you this morning. But it was in the book. You know that. You're beginning to sound as though you're against me, too. I'm only trying to prepare you for what's going to happen today. But the judge has got to see that I couldn't kill. We'll try to show them. There's no evidence. Everything is so circumstantial. And, and Mrs. Collins is going to testify. She promised. Vicki. won't. But she said she would. She promised. I got a letter this morning from that Ben fellow. From Mrs. Collins? From her husband. He's not even going to let her come to the trial. Why? He doesn't say. Do you want to read it? No, I can't. Oh, you were counting on her. I was counting on it, too. He stopped her. She wouldn't have broken her promise. I know her. I know that. Peter, I don't know what I'd do without you. It's time. Now? Now. You ready? Yes, I'm ready. Victoria Winters, you have heard the charges of witchcraft for which you are being tried. Plead innocent to the aforesaid charge or guilty. Innocent, Your Honor. The case of the Commonwealth of Massachusetts against Victoria Winters may proceed. 
I should like to give the defendant one last opportunity to denounce her master and relinquish voluntarily the powers which link her to the Prince of Darkness. Your Honor, Miss Winters does not admit the possession of any such powers. Mr. Bradford is right. Whether he is right or not, possession is the most curious word for him to use, because that's what this trial is about. The possession of innocent souls by a witch. Your Honor, Mr. Trask keeps talking as if this trial were over and Miss Winters' guilt decided. Trask, you will attempt to limit your editorializing, I trust. It will not be easy, Your Honor, but I shall try. Now, with the court's permission, I should like to call my first witness. Proceed. Miss Abigail Collins, please. Miss Collins, do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help you God? So help me God. I have never lied, Your Honor, as anyone who knows me will be glad to tell you. Miss Collins? Now, Miss Collins, will you kindly tell the court, in your own words, the true beginning of this case, the arrival of Victoria Winters at Collinwood? We were living at the old house then. We? My brother Joshua and Jeremiah. The late Jeremiah Collins. He would be alive today if that woman had not come to us. I object to this, Your Honor. Do you, sir? Well, no more than this, this noble family objects to the loss of one of its most illustrious members. The Collins family has my sympathy and Miss Winter's sympathy, and I'm sure the Indeed. sympathy... Indeed! Every... Gentlemen, gentlemen! Be seated, Mr. Bradford. Trask, no connection has been made between Miss Winters and Jeremiah Collins' death. It has not been established. We shall make that connection at the proper time. You may proceed, Miss Collins. On, on what actual date did Miss Winters first appear? It was October 12th. I remember because I made arrangements with our solicitor in Boston to send us a Miss Phyllis Wick. She came highly recommended. She was to arrive the 12th on the evening stage. And did Miss Wick arrive? She did not. And I, for one, hesitate to think what may have happened to her. Obviously, some evil force would not permit her to come. It may be obvious to you that some evil force did not permit Miss Wick's arrival. It also may be that just by chance, somewhere between Boston and here, she changed her mind. The stage overturned, and she is missing to this very day. Did you try to find her? Our solicitor in Boston, a very respectable man, made all inquiries. Miss, Your, Mr. Bradford, you will have... Your Honor, she's trying to suggest that we must accept second-hand testimony. You will have your own opportunity to cross-examine this witness. Thank you, Your Honor. Now, Miss Collins, will you tell us the details of Miss Winter's appearance? My nephew, Barnabas, a name, Your Honor, you shall hear many times in this trial, was to go to Collinsport to pick up Miss Wick. As he waited for his carriage, he saw coming toward him this, this creature. He'd never seen her before in his life, and she called him by name. Barnabas, she cried. Oh, Barnabas. He told you that he had never seen her before. Of course. But he came under her spell almost immediately. Oh, Judge, you should have seen the clothes she was wearing. There is an explanation for Miss Winter's clothes, Your Honor. You must not interrupt the testimony, Mr. Bradford. Proceed. Pro 